All right, uh, you want to see some cool stuff? Mercedes front differential out of a quote unquote four wheel drive Mercedes Sprinter. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna, I've got it kind of pulled apart. So I'm gonna show you the ring gear. There's a ring gear. Now this is norm, this is the rear end of the Sprinter here. Look at the difference in this. Look at the teeth count difference and the size in that. This is a 392 gear. So this basically has a count here to change this to 392. So inside of here, as we pull this guy apart, here's your pinion gear. I forget what this exactly came out to, but I think it was like less than two to one. It's like 1 1.4 to one. But what they do is they, in, they basically, they take the input from the transfer case. This is the front flange, which has been, been driven by the CV comes into here and it changes that ratio. This one ratio turns into 1.4 or whatever, but then it's gonna go into this guy right here. This is a planetary gear. This reduces it even further. So what we're doing is we're taking this ratio here and we're spinning this gear, which spins this, in turn spins this, and then we output into here that changes the ratio into like 420. It's slightly more than 420, but for the for, for ease, it's just 420. And then from here, there's a carrier inside of here. So here's your normal differential is gonna sit inside there. That it's a real small differential. So that normal differential looks like this, where it's got the side gears, the spider gears, and all that. That's inside of this component here. Super small. And then outputs here from this one, and then it outputs from this spline all the way through all of this to this other side over here. So each one of those then attaches to the axles in the front, and that's what drives your wheels. In this case, this one's apart because the guy that had this broke this little stub right here coming out of the differential, which is right here. We're not sure what happened. We don't know if this broke first or the CV. My guess is the CV probably broke in this case because it was broken to pieces. And then it took out and cocked and took out this piece here. It's a fairly, fairly big piece in comparison to all these other components. But it's interesting how when it broke, it looks like it's just a nice, easy, clean break. So it's super interesting differential. But when people are wondering what their gear ratio is in the front, why we don't change out the gear ratios when we're doing the sprinters, like when we put the locker in, we go from a 392 to a 418. The reason how we can do that is because the transfer case is open and it allows us to differentiate between front and rear. So what Mercedes does, if you have 418 gears or 392s, you always run the same front differential because the transfer case makes up the difference. But when we go to the uh, Atlas, which is a 50-50 split, we need to go to 418 in the rear, and then we can maintain the front 420. It's not a perfect um, gear ratio, but it's within a percentage. And we found out it works really, really well. So if you ever anticipate going to the Atlas, you're gonna want to go to 418 rear gears. Honestly, if you're coming in into the shop, you got bigger tires, we put 418s on pretty much everything. The only ones we don't do it on are the all-wheel drives. All-wheel drives, you have to maintain the same gear ratio. There's no differentiation in the differential. So stay away from anybody that's changing out your gears in the all-wheel drives. You have to run 392s. If you were to change your rear, you'd have to change your fronts for sure but look at the difference in size of these components. A lot of stuff going on here. And uh, again, surprisingly, the only part that broke on this one was a fairly seemingly easy part. You would have thought that maybe this planetary gear or something that would have imploded as small as these components are. But I have a feeling that over the years, we might see more breaks coming out of these differentials and we'll address it as they come up. But so far, we've had four atlases in the field for some time. 420, 418 gears, running this 4, 4, 8, 420 front end. It's been pretty easy. Um, this one did come out of the ones that was the Atlas. It broke this component here. Put another one back in there. It's back on the trail and running and already using the Atlas and uh, uh, no issues. So we'll keep an eye out for things. And uh, But super cool to see all these components and see them out, how they work.